Hello YouTube, this is Charlie 426 and today we have the review of the Beast Box Sigma from 52 Toys. Now this, I have pre-ordered it and I was expecting this product to arrive technically next week, but apparently it arrived last week, which was a very big surprise for me as well, so which kind of kind of um, uh, affected my review schedule, but I'm, just, I'm very happy to receive this, you know, earlier than I expected, so I'm still very satisfied. Now, regarding this product, there's a few things I, I do need to uh, explain, not only the product itself, but its bonus item as well, but still, um, yeah, we'll go that, we're, we'll go on that bit by bit, but still, let's start with the review. So, as usual, let's talk, let's look at the box here. So, here is the box, nothing too special on the front section, but on the back, we still have the typical illustration going on here, and it also mentions the design team, which was the original, uh, the X2R, I believe this one. These are one of the original teams that started the whole Beast Box section as well, so I believe they, they were the original makers for the Beast Box Dio as well. So, yeah, the overall design style or engineering style is slightly, you know, to some people, it might look familiar. Now, other than that, you, stu you do still get the typical stuff, the instruction manual that you're definitely going to need. You still get the catalog and PVC card and the instruction manual for the PVC card as well. And then, uh, regarding this, there was another extra catalog here, and I've never seen this, so this is my first time seeing this. Although, yeah, so there is a catalog for their small figurines. So these are kind of like the Super 7 stuff, as far as I understood these. These are like small collectible figurines as well, so they have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, here, like with the Cthulhu stuff as well, the Legacy of Lovecraft, and there's some of their original designs, or, um, and I believe these are some uh, from specific arcade games as well. And then they even have the one uh, Unus from the Beast Box, uh, from the Mega Box line. I'm still waiting for his other camera part to be released as Mega Box, but still, yeah. So they are. I have seen some advertisements regarding these small figures. So who knows? Maybe in the future. But yeah. Uh, you know, some people. I know there are, are a lot of big fans of the, the Cthulhu series as well. So yeah, just wanted to point that out. And we get, we still get the character bio car, which I do like. And story wise, this is kind of interesting. So here is the front illustration, and on the back we have the stats. So uh, being a Triceratops, I kind of, I kind of understand having the high defense, low speed, high courage, and strength, but low intelligence. That's slightly concerning. But still, uh, if you look, if you actually read this, it, apparently, so. I, I do need to explain a few things. So you can read the whole description here by pausing it, but yeah, um, you can pause here. And then, so, so this is Sigma. So Sigma, so this is a 52 Toys second attempt on making a 2.0 version of their older Beast Box. So if you remember Mega Dio or Dio 2.0, that is basically a updated or upgraded version of Dio. So Dio is one of their original Beast Box. It's one of the oldest ones out there. So they decided to make a 2.0 version of that. And they had a Triceratops called the Delta. I do not own one. I tried to get one, but didn't work out sadly. But there was a very simple looking Triceratops called Delta. I'll try to post a picture here as well. And this is their 2.0 version of that. And they decided to call this Sigma. And apparently story-wise, um, Sigma rem has his memory of when he was being, when he was Delta. So which is a kind of interesting, you know, concept. Because apparently for Mega Dio, if you look at, if you read his uh, bio card, uh, there's no really traces of where he came from, but I assume he was entirely rebuilt with no memory of his previous self. But yeah, and uh, before we go on to the cube, here is the bonus item. So if you pre-ordered uh, Sigma, you should be receiving this bonus item. This is the laser cannon. Uh, I have kind of shown this on my previous uh, Gunpla review. Some people were asking me about the gun, but yeah, I just wanted to point this out. So it comes like this. I already opened it up. So it's a foldable laser cannon gun going on here. So as far as I know, there's no way, there's no best to separately purchase this for now. I know they might have other plans to release this as a separate product later in the future because they all have this barcode and all these descriptions going on here. So yeah, because I do know for the fo foldable action base dedicated for a beast box, they start to sell those if, if I remember correctly. So here is the laser cannon folded up. Um, it's very simple. You just pop that up and then pull out the peg there, open this, pull this up, pull this up, and then attach this like this. And then this is just a peg, so you, you can just put, put, put it in any way we want and then pull this out to make the laser cannon as well. And there are multiple ports here. There's a small peg here on pegs on the side. Or if you want a larger peg, you can also pull this out to reveal another gigantic peg. And there's these multiple ports that you can use uh, as well. So there are multiple ways to use this. So just putting that aside. So yeah, let's talk about the Beast Box itself. So 
I've transformed this a few times so far. The problem is, um, even though I think I did it correctly, it's still slightly stuck inside the box charger as well. So, which uh, when you if you did it correctly, now the box charger should go in and out very smoothly. But depending on how I put it in, it goes either depending on which angle I put it in. Sometimes it goes very smoothly. Sometimes it comes out a little bit stiff. So who knows? But yeah. So the transformation sequence is pretty simple, if you ask me. I would say if you try it like within like 10 times, you should be able to memorize it. So once again, I'm not going to show you guys the process because that's going to take a long time and very difficult to explain at the same time. So I'll be right back with the transformed version. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So here we have the Triceratops version or uh, Sigma. So here is his fully transformed version now. I, well, I did mention that I have transformed this thing a few times, but still the instruction manual, there are certain parts that just doesn't make any sense. Uh, but oh well, maybe I just got lucky, but still. Uh, yeah, I am overall really impressed by this whole design, because if you've seen the first 1.0 version out, uh, so basically if you've seen Delta, um, you'd be surprised if, to think that this is a 2.0 version of that specific version. But still, I absolutely love the overall designs here. So, pretty sure some of you guys are wondering how you can attach this uh, gigantic cannon to this guy, but we'll get into that later. But for now, let's talk about articulation first. So, uh, let's start with the head. Now, the head is the part which I had a little bit interesting, what I had slightly issues with. Well, not in terms of transformation or anything, it's just the articulation. So, the articulation is slightly kind of like locked in place. So, um, because you have a ball joint here, uh, right behind the back head that connects the head, which basically locks it into place. And there's another ball joint here. So there's not much movement going on here. Even up and down, there's not much even, because there's also this part that's locking itself on, on this joint. So it's a, bit, it's a bit odd, but still, if you can detach the first ball joint, uh, if I can't, um, let me, oh boy. Yeah, that was not ideal, but still, um, okay. You could technically move the head if you, detach this ball joint up and down if you want to do so, but that doesn't make any sense because there's no neck going on here as well. So uh, I would say it's not ideal, but still if you heard that small crackling noise, you it does. It, there is a bit of a like um, joint inside there that allows you to move a little bit downwards and forwards as well. So if you want to adjust the neck, uh, it, it is possible. And the horns obviously, because they are on pegs, they should be able to move around. Actually, no, they are on ball joints. They're just a bit stiff, but even though on the ball joint, there's not much movement to uh, to go side to side. So yeah, they are ball joints. Uh, the visor, really love the orange visor, the horn as well. And once again, I have the issue with the mouse. Like, um, as far as I understood this, the mouse does not move. It's always gonna stay open like this. So definitely an in interesting choice, but oh well. And then all the head stuff, we have th these parts that can flap around and such, and then these parts can move up side a little bit like this, and then forward and backward as well. But once again, being a Triceratops, these parts aren't supposed to move as far as I know. So, yeah. Now for the legs, they're very simple. They all have this, um, they're all connected as ball joints like this, as, as you can see there. So you do get a, a bit of a, a forward and backward movement going on with using the ball joints. And then going forward should be possible, although it is going to collide with the head a bit. Uh, going 360, I'm not. I'm going to say it's not really supposed to do that, and there's not much, um, you know, space to do that. So, yeah. But forward going and then backwards, also, there is enough. And there is another joint here, so you can see uh, there's a joint here and on the top section as well. So you do have a little bit of range of movement, and the feet can also move uh, downwards as well. So you should have no problems making this thing, uh, you know, walk on its own four feet. So no big deal. And then the back leg, once again, also connected as a ball joint. You do have a little bit of movement forward and backward. The toe does bend, but that's mostly for the transformation. Also, you do get another bend here as well because this is, this is connected as a ball joint as well. Uh, I believe, yeah, the, this other joint does also move a little bit forward and backward a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, once again, balance shouldn't be a huge issue with this unit as well. So, as long as you know what you're doing, you should be able to balance the whole tri Triceratops on all on its four legs. Um, yeah, so once again, design-wise, very, very well done. And then for the tail, once again, we do, uh, there is this part, yeah. You do have a forward, upward and downward movement, but once again, this is because I unlocked this part. If you lock it into place, you do get less movement up and down as well. And then there's another joint here, uh, up and down as well. There's no side to side movement for this one. And then there's another joint here. So you do have a little bit of control on how you want to position the tail as well. 
All right, and that's pretty much it for the articulation here. Being a Triceratops, and you know, there's not much in terms of articulation because this is not a humanoid type, you know, mech. Now, for the to some people might be a finale. So here is the cannon. So there are multiple ways you can connect the cannon. So you can see there is a peg here. What you can do is that you can utilize one of these holes and connect it like this. Uh, onto the side if you want to do so or if you want to go a little bit higher you can choose a different hole and then connect it like that so it's so you can connect it like that sorry about that so there are multiple ways to connect this you can use that port as well um or uh, i believe yeah so you can use these pegs as well so the same goes for the other other side as well if you want to connect it to the other side you can do that now if you want to go double cannon so far the only way you're going to go double cannon is to buy is to buy two of these and then get two bonus parts if i understood that correctly so yeah now uh, there is one more way to connect this and this was only mentioned uh, on behind the box here like this uh, and uh, the, the box does also come with a small instruction manual so if you don't know how to transform this it should all make sense by looking at this but based on the box uh, based on the back side of the blister pack here uh, this is what you're supposed to do so I'm um, I'm not even sure this is ideal, so I'm gonna detach the head one more time like this. There we go. And then I'm gonna do, oh boy. Yeah, ignore that part. Yeah, that, yeah. So I should technically have fold these in like this, but still ignore that. So you have to go do something like this as far as I understood this. Um, and then you have to, let's see, I'm just gonna fold these back down and then pull these all the way back like this and then here you should have this part that, that can detach like that and then you attach this there is a giant hole so according to the manual these are five millimeter pegs these are three millimeter pegs as well so you attach this gigantic peg over there and there you go you have a dedicated triceratops cannon as well so yeah i would say this is not the most ideal design if you ask me but still uh, it was mentioned on the box so i just wanted to try that out as well but still, that is pretty much it for the review. So once again, uh, if you had never gotten Delta, I say this, like Sigma is also a very nice option because uh, I know out there there are a lot of people who are into like dinosaurs, especially mech dinosaurs. They're always you know very hot in the market. So uh, I would definitely suggest this. I mean, if you if you're a person who also bought Dio and then Dio 2.0 or Mega Dio at this point, there's no reason for you to not buy uh, Sigma as well. So because. Overall, I really love the color, I overall love the design, and the whole bonus item is just really, really cool to play around with because so far, like most of the bonus items are usually like either action bases or like small uh, flashy gimmicks in, rather than weapons. So I think this might be one of the first few cases where we actually got like a full-fledged like deadly arsenal cannon weapon uh, as a bonus item, which is a, which is a very good thing on my book, if you ask me. So yeah, and I pers and I think I'm personally gonna display like this on the side because it, it, this one this design makes more sense. Uh, it's a gigantic cannon, and you want it on on the side and have control with it. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the review. This was the review of the Beast Box Sigma from Five Two Toys. So uh, make sure if you do pre-order this, make sure you are getting the bonus item as well because some sellers will make this as an option whether to receive it or not or some will even charge you for the bonus item so just be aware of what you're dealing with anyway uh, if you guys got any questions or requests leave a comment below i still have more stuff to buy and build and make reviews out so please stay tuned until then see you guys next time